Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey guys, if you enjoy this video, I appreciate a like, comment, sub, and little bell notification. Thanks so much, enjoy. Hey everyone, today's going to be a short guide on how to get to Mirage Island in Pokemon Emerald and Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. There's a few uh, preempts to this video, and the first one is that when you started the game, you need to have had a dead battery. Um, if the battery died in the middle of the save game, this will not work. But if you start the game with a dead battery, you can guarantee you'll always have the same um, Mirage Island frame and you'll be able to get it every time. So um, we'll talk about how this works uh, first. So basically the way it checks is it checks your PID, um, the, the last four digits of it, it seems. And... All we have to do is get one, uh, get a Pokemon with a PID that matches that, right? So, if the battery is dead, um, and this le these last four digits will never change because the date and time will never change. So all you need to do is on the first day of, you know, the time, the PID thing will be uh, zero 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 zero. Those that's will be the PID it looks for, and it will never change. And because we can RNG, we can just look for uh, a spread with those um with with that PID and so in each game um I've listed here what the earliest frames that I found are for stationary and wild um I recommend stationary in both it seems to just be faster basically um in emerald it's 18626 which is what I'll be doing for uh, in this video uh, for the stationaries and I'm going to be doing it on Lilip but this would work with any method of one pokemon um, and for wild, it's 19397. In Ruby and Sapphire, it's 18592 for the stationary, actually really close to the emerald one. And in RS Wild, the earliest I found was 41932, uh, uh, which is really, really late compared to the other ones. It's like 11 minutes in or something. So, and if you have a stationary available to RNG in Ruby and Sapphire, I really recommend trying that. Um, you could do this with a bunch of different Pokemon starter, fossil, um, uh, legendaries like Reggie's um, what else you could do it with um, the Voltorb uh, in the uh, like new mobile or whatever so yeah um, so all you have to do is aim for that frame so first I uh, recommend go and if you don't and the reason I by the way included the wild Pokemon is just in case you want to go there you started the game with the dead battery and you have no method one Pokemon left so anyway um, so we're just going to hop into the footage. Um, you're going to have to do your normal calibration stuff. I um, mean, you know, if you've never heard of RNG before, um, go watch the rest of this playlist. I do like, uh, you know, a bunch of different explanations. Okay, so for the Eon timer, I do pre-timer of 5,000, which is just five seconds. And I do frame 82626, which is the frame I'm going for in Pokemon Emerald. But, you know, you just type whichever frame you're aiming for. Okay, so once you start Eon timer in your game at the same time, um, you just want to load up and uh, go wait in front of wherever your um, Method 1 Pokemon or Wild Pokemon is that you're doing. Like I said, I'm doing the leap here, so just wait until it counts down and we see it get uh, got. Okay, so as you can see, I didn't hit my first uh, frame that I was aiming for, so we'll, we'll type in... Um, we'll do a few things, actually. We will do... Uh, first, we'll get closer to the frame from the starting, so we'll do like 18,500. Uh, That's because I doubt I was more than 100 frames off. And uh, PokeFinder has a really uh, handy-dandy IV calculator, and since Lilip's only level 20, you can't be, you know, perfectly precise, but um, you can still be pretty good. So, so it's Hardy, Gen 3, don't care, uh, the rest. So just type in all of its stats to make sure... Um, uh, to be able to figure out what your IV range and what frame you were aiming for. So, 15 and... Okay, so um, once you get all of the IVs and whatnot, you're going to type the ranges into... Uh, I don't think there's a way I can do this, but... <laughs> oh, actually, uh, yeah, so you're going to type the ranges into here. So it's 13, 17, 18, 22... 20. And you know, you don't have to use PokeFinder's IV Calc, you can use whichever one, uh, you know, you find appropriate, you know, just whichever one you like, really. And uh, search. 
So as you can see, um, this tells me I hit a hardy frame um, for uh, fairly early compared to what uh, I was aiming for. So you're just going to have to um, type that into your Eon timer. So I type that into the frame hitbox. So let's see here. So it was 18. 18.575 update and it'll give you a calibration and you'll just have to give it another go so for this part I figured I would just show my live reaction of me uh, accomplishing my goal on the stream because I'd never done it before we'll and more times I think I had a fun uh, live reaction so uh, enjoy the rest of the clip um, I've shown you all you need to do and that's that be hardy you're probably not the right it's it's hardy again I got lucky but I think it's the wrong one so we'll see if you start the game with a dead battery you always know what PID it will need it needs to have four zeros. Actually, this one's way more likely to be... Actually, I think I... Really? Don't get your hopes up. It, now it's PID based. I think this guy's about to see Mirage Island, my guys. Two tries, motherfuckers. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to Mirage Island. Woo! Where is it? This is Rayquaza. That's Rayquaza's tower. It's this way, isn't it? Oh, hello. It's just, like, in the ocean. Oh, wow, you cannot miss this. I've, n I've never been to Mirage Island before, so I don't know what's up. Wow. Oh. Uh, you won't ever know. It, it, the I just want to shout out to Green Darkness, who donated this copy of XD Gale of Darkness to me. Thank you very much. I wouldn't be able to make these videos without you, man. Same goes to my donators and channel members. These videos would not be coming out as frequently or basically at all without you guys supporting me. It really makes a big difference and I really appreciate every single one of you.